All right, guys, here we go. Episode 205, playing against the Arizona Wildcats this week. Last game of the regular season. I win this. I play for the conference championship, more than likely against Stanford. And I'm pretty sure if I lose it, <laughs> I'm going to play against them. So it's pretty much a win-win for me. And the next week, I have a bye week, as does almost everybody in the dynasty. So we're looking pretty good there. Um, top players, they got a lot of defense, but they got a couple of guys injured. So that'll help us out pretty nice, I hope. <laughs> playing at home, man. Last week, I went all black. This week, I went all red. Or maroon, whatever color, I'm going to say red. Got the user stack, start the user stack to start the game. User stack to start the game. Quarterback scrambles, breaks a tackle. Yeah, that's not good. When the quarterback can run on you for 14 yards, not good at all. And he does like this little pitch thing. It almost worked out great. Almost got the first down just short. So we get the ball now. Second one, hand off the herd up the middle. Juke, for some reason, into the defense. Because nobody's there, right? Right? Yeah, so dump it off the herd this time. Try to get the first down just short once again. A couple plays later, got the first. Hit, uh, hit Temple. I mean, that was a dangerous pass. Traveled a long ways, but it worked out pretty good. Handed off to Cruz, who spins and then fights his way into the end zone. We take the lead 7 to nothing. They're not giving up. Handed off with the bell. I missed horribly with the linebacker. Went to the wrong hole. And they took advantage of it. Second and two. Got him that time, though. Stop him for a third and inches. Can we hold them? No. <laughs> not even remotely close. Freaking 14 yards later, first down. We're should take a little counter play. Bam! Lay him out. Get the fumble. That's what we needed to turn over. It's about freaking time. We don't have a whole lot this season. What it is, what it is. Go a little screen pass. Heard with a spin move. Oh my gosh, a spin move, dude. Guys, legit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this team when they're gone, man. I'm gonna miss them when they're gone. My cutting over the middle for the first down. I'll take it. 15 yards later, drop back pass. How will they throw? I think a couple of different options. Temple came open for the touchdown. We in our lead, 14 and nothing. Go for the almost get the sack. I think I got pushed down. Quarterback scramble, steps up in the pocket, hits his receiver for the first down. Dude breaks two tackles, but not three, but it doesn't matter. He's already done his damage. Quarterback scrambling this time, breaks the tackle. No fumble. I was shooting for it. I was hoping for it. Just didn't happen. Second and eight. Hits the back of the backfield, and then a huge whiff again on my part. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I did that way too much this game. Whoops, there goes another one. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? I mean, at least I nudged the guy that time, so they score. Bring within seven. First and ten. I had to play action pass. I think I called this on my own. If I had put B on a jet, he would have scored, but it's all good. We got the first down. Second nine. I scramble this time. Get a big block. Get laid out, but get the first down. So one more play before the end of the first quarter. Temple over the middle. Temple has become a pretty big staple for my offense because he's in that, that coveted slot route. But it's all good. Set this up for the first and goal. Hand it off to Hurd. Gets in the end zone. We extend our lead 21 to 7. First and 10 now, drop back pass. I'm like, oh, I got this like guy coming, linebacker Lewis, too late. Dude's wide open in the middle of the field. <laughs> Dang it. In my quarters, I'm trying to be Lewis, give him a little bit of time, then I start coming. Coming again, hit him as he throws. He lobs over that ball's dropped, not picked because my guys can't catch the ball. Second and 10 now, which is after the pick. Quarterback scrambling, nobody remotely close to the guy. He slides just in the nick of time so he doesn't get his head knocked off. First and 10, next play. Has all day to throw it. Hits as he throws a pick. Drop yet again. You guys cannot catch on my team. Second and 10. Throws it. A pick. Hey, third time's a charm. <laughs> we finally get one, man. Oh my gosh. Just stay in the end zone. A touchback. My 20th turnover in the season came on my last game of the regular season. Holy jeez, man. Temple with a nice big first down. And the face mask. This is a pretty good second and five now. Rolling out to the right. And hit X. I don't, I don't know. A little slow motion goes through the guy's hands through his hands man look at this it's like woof right through his hand somehow through his head too but i'll take it <laughs> any way i can get it i'll take it man oh my gosh this is up for a pretty big game uh, first and 10 now hit oh my god it's lawrence typically they go at an angle lawrence went to the sidelines should have been a touchdown it's all good next play get in the end zone anyways 28 to 7 with about three minutes left in the second quarter Hurdles, my guy, runs it to his own guy, breaks the tackle, finally bring them down. Robbie Bell was a beast, dude. Robbie Bell ran all over me, as you can tell. Look at these moves, man. Golly, still couldn't take him down when he was out of bounds. Guy was all over the place. Go for the screen. I hit him. Breaks the tackle, breaks the tackle, breaks the tackle. First down, of course. So second and eight. Hand off up the middle. Yeah, got him. Got him that time. No, <laughs> no breaking it, Robbie. Not going to happen. So third and nine, go a little screen pass. No, sir. Computer stepping up strong for me. I was a linebacker. I didn't even notice it. And that's uh, They take their field goal and get another one before the half. So we're up pretty good. 28 to uh, 16. Offensively, they're about even, man. Five-yard difference for us. We got 280 yards. They have 245. 
We're just back and forth. Without their turnovers, it'd be a different game. So first play for me, starting the second half, little triple option. Look at my quarterback roll, baby. Too much speed for this team. They don't even know. They don't even know what's up. My quarterback running off and leaving fools, man. Diving the end zone touchdown. 72 yards later. Just pile it on, man. Just keep piling. 35-13. <laughs> they hand it off up the middle. Robbie, once again. Pretty good game. Second and nine. Hits the guy on the little out route. Fizz. I miss, and they pick up a huge block. Huge block. Throws me to the ground. Luckily, he steps out of bounds because he would have scored. Second and goal. I was doing a pretty good job usering, except for the guy I threw it to. <laughs> they get the touchdown and the two-point conversion to bring it within 14. Hit McCutcheon. Yeah, you didn't even see that guy, did you? Yeah, I did. I did for the first down. Little screen pass. Look at these blocks. Blocks. Oh, my gosh. 69. <laughs> Just way late on that dude. I probably should have went a little more outside. Matt could have dove in there to get it, but we get it anyways. Hurd gets his touchdown to just, yeah. We're about 21 yet again. <laughs> Throws it over the middle. Blanket chip. Nice pass, man. Can't argue with that. Just beat the slant. That's all there is to it. No no harm, no foul. So I'm Lewis again. I'm like, no, 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 no. Fumble. Die for it. Got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> User control of that one. Give me another turnover. Second and three. I'm like, all right. Let's see what we got. A little stop route with Wiggins. I mean, I'm hitting everybody. I don't know what my deal is offensively, but I'm like all over the place. I'm hitting Temple, I'm hitting Lawrence, I'm hitting Wiggins, I'm hitting Hurd, I'm hitting Cruz. I'm hitting a slant route Temple for the touchdown, even though Wiggins was wide open or the tight end was wide open for the touchdown way before that. It's like, can I, can I do anything wrong? <laughs> Offensively, man. Defensively, we're giving up way too many points, at least in my opinion, but my offense is just covering covering the uh, the slack there, which is definitely, definitely nice. And this, whoops, another whiff. <laughs> Breaks a tackle, but luckily he trips him while he was on the ground. To keep him from getting the first down, it doesn't matter. Third and four. Just runs straight up, runs over that dude. Oh my gosh, man. Get wrecked, son. Second and 14. He throws it over the middle as he gets drilled yet again. First down. So they're threatening and trying to score first and goal. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Lucky tackle. Very fortunate for me. Call him down the fourth down. Little play action, and he just throws it on the ground. He's like, I don't want this ball. Get it out of my hand. So I'm like, all right, I'll hit third and 11 for Temple. Gets a lucky tackle. We probably would have been running for a little bit longer. But it's all good. Fourth and 13. I went for it. Wiggins. Wiggins. Go, baby. Yes, sir. Diving for the end zone touchdown. <laughs> Just piling it on, man. We get the ball back again. Second nine. Caught another play action on my own. Green even comes into the, in the play for the big first down. Fourth down yet again. I've been going for it like crazy, man. I don't, I don't know what my problem is. I'm just having fun. Hit Hurd for the touchdown. We, <laughs> we just embarrassed the Wildcats in our rivalry game to end the season. Player of the game, my quarterback, 29 for 33, 406 yards, 10 carries, 108 yards, five total touchdowns, man. In like the past two games, he's got like a thousand yards passing, and we've been running the ball pretty well. We probably got like 500 yards running. We've just been been offensive explosion here recently. Look at that. We beat him in every category: time possession, passing yards, rushing yards, no turnovers, first downs, points, just whatever we wanted to beat him in, we did it. Defensive player of the game, Lewis. Thanks for the forced fumble. Our fumble recovered. I appreciate it, dude. Let's check out and see how everybody else did. All right, just going to show the highlights from the game against Arizona. We ended up winning pretty handily, 63-21, our last game of the regular season. We're going to the conference championship, and it's going to be against Stanford. Unless, for some reason, he gets leapfrogged or jumped or beat or something. I don't, I don't know this week, but it's uh, not likely. And I'm, I'm honestly not looking forward to that game. Guy's good, man. We haven't played each other. I've just seen some of his games. Um, like the stats and stuff. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. I'll, I'll guarantee you that. Hopefully it's a close one, not a blowout like most of my user games that I play and get beat in. Because that's not fun for me. Let's see what everybody else did. North Carolina ends up winning at 6317. Louisville had a bye week. West Virginia wins ninety one to three. Oh dang. Missouri wins thirty one to thirty. Michigan State wins sixteen to ten. Southern Miss wins thirty eight to twenty. Mid Tennessee State 66 24. Stanford had a bye week. LSU wins 42 28. Uh, Florida wins 35 24. And if you want to see the Italian score, links down in the description as always. Make sure you go check out his games. And uh, yeah, make sure you go watch it. See what happens with the Italian. Does he make a bowl game? Does he make the playoffs? Does he play for the conference championship? Find out on his channel. <laughs> We're going to advance it real quick and we'll be right back. All right, let's get done with the advance. We have a bye week this week, as does a lot of people. I think there's actually only one game this week. Um, Mark's got bye week. So West Virginia's playing. They play Texas. Uh, Louisville's got bye week. Missouri, Michigan State, Southern Miss, Mid-Tennessee State, Stanford, LSU, 
Florida and Tennessee all have bye weeks. We only have one game. Um, I would love to be able to advance it early, but there are still there are still recruiting points to give out. So I don't think we'd be able to because I would assume all uh, West Virginia is on and about to play his game, but. I don't think we'll be able to advance early because of everybody else's stuff. So it's probably going to be just like normal. But next, this next video um, coming out Friday, yeah, Friday, we'll uh, have like the uh, stat updates. I was like, what the heck am I trying to say? Have the stat updates and all that because that's what I told you guys I would do, and that's what I'm gonna do. Check out the top 25, see what's going on with that one, and. Navy leapfrogs way up from six to two, but they are one of the only unbeaten teams left. So interesting, <laughs> interesting indeed. And I don't think they have any more games left. They have Army. So if Army somehow beats Navy, then there's going to be a user battle for the national championship. If not, then we don't have to really worry about it. <laughs> we we're just going to have to deal with the computer making it because that's just how it goes sometimes. But there you go. That's where we're sitting. LSU, number two, three. North Carolina, number four. Florida moves back one. Michigan State. Michigan State's only got one loss. I like the same thing with Florida. I don't understand how I'm still ranked so high. You know what I mean? Like, or any of the, the two Big Ten teams or myself. It doesn't really make any sense. I know Michigan State has mentioned that. It just, I don't, I don't get it. But it is what it is, man. I mean, it's it's done. Can't really do anything about it. Same thing with Stanford. They've only lost one game. But they're gonna they're gonna beat me down. So <laughs> there we go. We got a lot of people ranked now. The BCS the one that really matters right now. Um, was it more than likely me and Iowa? Unless something happens, potentially me in Florida, which would be pretty cool. Um, I think I, I am gonna wait and do the the uh, bowl projections next week and award finalists and all that. We will check out the Heisman watch on conference standings. I'll go ahead and show that because it's pretty much where we're at right now i mean there's just hardly any more games left in in the college season this year so let's go ahead and check those out see where everybody's sitting currently i'm playing in the pac-12 championship against stanford um yeah his only loss was his first game against west virginia and he lost by like two maybe three so that's gonna be a fun game over in the sec missouri i think has the tiebreaker over florida did they did they play each other do they beat each other florida well florida actually won so i don't i don't know florida won but who did florida lose to but florida lost to missouri so florida should i would assume get the benefit of the doubt and leapfrog missouri for the conference championship whereas lsu is playing playing on the other side oh wait florida Florida lost to Missouri. Never mind. Florida lost to Missouri. So Missouri's got the tie tiebreaker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Missouri's got the tiebreaker. The way the way I see it. Yeah. Missouri then LSU. Okay. I just confused the heck out of myself. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. ACC we got Louisville. Um, NC State I think ended up beating Louisville though. Yeah. But they have two losses but only ones in no two in conference. So they got it. They got it. They're locked up. So it's Louisville, North Carolina, and the American. I don't think anybody's over there currently. Um, hopefully, Navy gets beat. The Big 12, obviously. West Virginia, still undefeated through three seasons. <laughs> the Big 10, we got Michigan State playing Iowa for the conference championship. So he knocks off Iowa. That's going to adjust uh, potentially where I play in my bowl game. Mid Tennessee State and Southern Miss get a rematch of the season. And nobody's in the MAC and nobody's in the Mountain West. So that's where we're sitting right now, man. We got a we had a pretty good end to the season. If Navy doesn't lose, then it's a shoe winner for the national championship and everybody else is gonna be playing each other. If they do, then it's gonna be all out brawl during the conference week <laughs> to see who wins. We have to wait. We have to wait for for this week to get through before we can figure it out. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.